Hi, welcome to this edition of Stories of the Afterlife and this piece in the spirit of Michael. One of the greatest gifts that Michael gave us was the sweeping view across the lineage of our soul. Now, the theme of this particular edition of Stories of the Afterlife is past life baggage and what we may have brought in. But now that we can do LBL and this gift that Michael has given us and taught all of us how to do, is to take that sweeping view across every one of your incarnations. What is the pattern across all of my past lives? What can I do within this lifetime to clear a pattern that might have been with me for multiple lives? That's incredibly powerful. Not only that, but as we clear up our own personal history, that changes the vibration in which the collective consciousness is held for the whole of humanity. So as you do your work, you're actually helping us to raise the vibration of the history of this planet. We all know that the linear time is perhaps an illusion anyway, but what we've been doing over a long period of time is perhaps building momentum towards this lifetime. But let me give you an example of a pattern of something that happens across lives. My first ever Life Between Lives experience was by accident, much like Michael's was. I had a lady who came to see me for stress and she was going into court against her husband or ex-husband, soon to be, uh, looking for custody of the three children that they had, three beautiful little girls. So she came to see me for stress and she flipped into that LBL state, that beautiful state of being that we're so familiar with in this work. And she told me what was happening and she told me what she needed to do. I said to her, why is this unfolding in, in Helga's life now? And she said, we've been trying for five lifetimes to resolve this. And I said, what do you need to resolve this? She said, I just need to forgive. How do you do that? It's already done. So five lifetimes of distress evaporated in that moment. Now she went into court the next week and she won her court case and she looked him in the eye for the first time in five lives because she had the courage to do so now that she had the bigger picture. She got custody of her girls, she got the family home and she stood in her power, if you like, for the first time of five lifetimes. It was a beautiful story. So sometimes we bring baggage into this lifetime with the opportunity to clear it, but there's also gifts and talents. So how many gifts and talents do you have that come from other lifetimes? We all do things uh, naturally that we shouldn't know how to do, but somehow they just come off. If you can embrace those gifts and those talents, either from this planet or from any other planet or dimension, all of that too contributes towards the awakening of humanity. Because every time we do something that is beyond ourselves, the veil gets even thinner. So our responsibility to be here in these times is to help raise the vibration of humanity. If we can clean up any of our soul lineage from some of those patterns that we're still trying to learn from and we get the lesson in this lifetime, if we can bring some of those skills and talents, we've got two layers of contribution to the shifting energy that we're seeing on this planet right now. All of this helps you to do one thing more. Live life from your soul. Remember how much your soul loves you. Your soul chose you ahead of seven billion others that are available on this planet. Okay, so that's the, the level of love that we have, the greatest act of unconditional love perhaps that we will ever experience. So that soul is you. So if you live each day as that soul incarnate, as the spiritual being having the human experience, as they say, that changes the vibration of how you look at life, how you deal with stress, and how you work through the things that are still unfolding in your life. If you live life from your soul, it's not like you're living in a dissociated way. You're living in an elevated way because you are the pure expression of your soul energy through this human vehicle that you've chosen so carefully for this lifetime. All of it is you. There's no separation between soul and human. You are one blended, beautiful being of an eternal nature that has been very carefully crafted for this particular lifetime from the purpose for which you are here. Okay. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.